Last time we've seen tents outside of Valley Hospitals was during the pandemic. Well, now this is the scene out front of St. Joe's Hospital. You can see a number of tents set up in front of their emergency entrance, leading to a lot of people asking the questions if they have space inside. Arizona's family first saw the tents monitored by security guards last night, reminiscent of a time when COVID-19 strained our hospital systems, leading some doctors to decide who gets care and who doesn't. But Dr. Sam Durrani, who is not affiliated with Dignity Health, the company that owns St. Joe's Hospital, says this site should not concern you. I wouldn't be alarmed by that at all. We have dealt with COVID for the last two, three years now, and we are just very efficient at dealing with these surges and volumes. And I think you're seeing a little bit of that, that these plans are starting to come together. A spokesperson for Dignity Health, who owns St. Joe's Hospital, said in a statement that the triage tents help patients with low acuity injuries and illnesses. The spokesperson said while respiratory illnesses are declining in our community, they remain above historic averages. Plus, capacity remains high because of an influx of patients at their hospitals for a variety of health issues. The winter is when the snowbirds come back. Dr. Durrani says while other hospitals don't have tents, they do have a lot of patients like St. Joe's. While it's being strained, I think that Everybody's motivated to keep everything going and to care for as many patients as possible. We reached out to the state hospital on this matter. The spokesperson told us that they haven't received any requests for assistance from any Valley Hospital. That includes St. Joe's directly behind me. For now, I'm in Phoenix, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.